Hi, I'm K. Aries Knight, and I'm going to be doing a general reading for Aries. So stay tuned, this video is for you. All right, Aries, let's see the energy that is surrounding you and the other carnal signs. So let's see. I'm going to pull out three cards, and then we're going to clarify each card one by one. <gasps> ah, it fell. I have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, coins represent the things that you materialize. Either you're materializing your love, um, your health, or your finances. Or maybe you're protecting them with the Knight of Coins. Maybe you're aware of the things that you have and you're not taking it for granted. Okay, Aries? But someone around you is taking things for granted. You have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. For some reason, either you are suffering from anxiety or having some type of worries. Maybe you're a night owl. Um, you also have the Eight of Swords. Now, Swords and Tarot represents the things that you think and the things that you communicate. So you could be stuck in your negative thoughts, wallowing of sadness, sorrow, confusion, nervousness. So let's see, what are you fearing? What, what is stressing you out the most? Aries. Okay, it could be your marriage. Maybe some of you are in a relationship because this could be marriage or this means that you're devoted and committed in, into a relationship if you're not married. So you can be worried about your relationship or worried that you know you don't have stability in your romantic life or you don't have the same stability with your finances. But you could be looking for stability and trying to fix on your finances. Show me the Eight of Swords. What's stuck in your head? What is these negative thoughts that Aries have? Ooh, we have a blockage. Oh, nine of pentacles. It looks like instead of you saving money, money is being spent more and more on bills. It's being spent on other stuff. And you're trying to find a way to make yourself happy so you feel stuck or you're trying to save and harvest your money. I feel like your energy is all over the place, carnal signs. So it looks like you're having money problems or you're trying to collect as much money you can, carnal signs, so you won't spend all your money. It looks like what whoever you're devoted and committed to is not devoted and committed to you with the Nine of Swords and the Page of Coins. Um, show me the harvesting with the Nine of Coins. You gotta start saving money. This is about balancing. This is about change. So you're gonna find a new way to change your money income. Maybe you're looking for a new job, a side hustle, another source of income to be helping you balance your finances here. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. What is Aries protecting besides, you know, their relationship and finances? Oh, wow. I feel like, yeah, some of you are stressed. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, woman too, Queen of Swords coming out here. You could be worried about a, a person. Why are you worried about this person? I feel like you... Oh, you worried that this person is going to bring you drama? They could be starting fights, arguments here, and you don't want the drama. But you're also ready for it too. So, like, if you bring it to me, you're going to be very disappointed because you're not going to like it. So they could be disappointing you, Aries. I feel like you're going to get into this big altercation because someone is being a drama queen. That's why. This, whoever this woman is, this air energy, she's bringing a lot of drama, chaos. It's like she wants to fight here. I, I think it, it could be physical or it could be verbal here. I didn't clarify that. And the Four of Cups, the ending of this is going to leave feelings and emotions of disappointment um, or feeling like there's people that you're surrounded by that's really ungrateful because I feel like you helped this woman, okay? And this woman is turning her back on you after you helped her from the troubles and, the, and problems that she was having. And so I feel like you're having problems with some female. It could be a family member or a friend. I didn't clarify that. Might as well clarify it since we have time. Is this female a friend or family? Show me. The strength card. Oh, she's controlling and manipulative. She's being sneaky and lying and exaggerating about things. It's a family member. It's not a friend. You could be having altercation with another female family member here. Okay, Aries? All right. I'm K.R.A. Knight, and I'm signing out. Peace out, world.